And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got the brand new Power Up expansion. So, as you guys know how this works, pretty much we get like six new players that aren't really new. They're just current Power Up players that were able to power up pass towards another, like a higher overall that they currently didn't have before. Which guys, the, I'm not gonna lie, you guys may not like the cards, but the idea behind it's actually really cool, despite what you may think. The fact that we're able to get cards up to 90 overalls that don't actually have cards, it helps a lot of people now. It's only been like two or three weeks of this, so obviously all the cards haven't been great yet, but first, there's two things about this that I like. Eventually, they're gonna drop some banger cards that are gonna be like cards that people are actually waiting for that haven't gotten upgrades. Second, what if they start making it 99? So let's say Odell. Odell only has his combine card. He's not going to get the card. Maybe they give him a 99. That could be cool too. Or even then, even if they don't do that, guys, this could transfer into next year where they actually use power up expansion as something cool for cards who, up yet, who haven't gotten an upgrade in a while. Like, let's say Joey Bose next year gets an 87 to start the year and then doesn't end his Christmas. He hasn't got another card. They do a power up expansion for Bosa real quick, knock him out. He has it to 93 for the power ups now. It's just a great way to set gaps because besides this year, there was a lot of cards that only got like an 89 and then a 97. So then in between, it's just a big, massive thing of power ups. So maybe in between, they could really like take a level. It's so you don't have to wait that long. I think this could be a very good thing in the future or even during the short term Madden future if you use the right. So I kind of have I'm happy we have this in here. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to a boy, come join the family, make sure this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already, like I said, comment down below, let me know what you think, and who is your favorite new power up expansion, I will maybe open up some packs as well in this real quick, if there are anything decent, because I do want to see if I can get anything, what did I say, special fan appreciation offer, now available, oh, yeah, now available, it's been off for like a week, um, let's see, is there anything good in pack, maybe I'll try a clutch pack out real quick, yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a clutch pack or so because I do want to pull a golden ticket or something, and I feel like now would be the perfect time. Ooh, a flashback. Okay, 88 Jason Verrett. Wow. 80 Marcus Gilbert. You know, I've never pulled like a high base elite this year at all. Like, with you think with all these base elites I pulled, I pulled something good. I've never pulled like a Khalil Mack or like a Von Miller, one of those guys. Not once. No Ramsey. I'm gonna try one more real quick. I really feel like it's gonna happen eventually, right? Oh, that gold gets. Oh, 89 Ray Lewis. You know, that's exciting, and then you check, and you notice that the price of that card is only, like, 12 to, like, maybe 30k, which is even more upsetting. All right, I'll try one more here real quick. What is this? 94 Deion Sanders? Okay. Guys, that is my first full, that's my first NFL 100 pull. That technically is my best pull of Madden 20. Is that sad? That's sad, right? My first NFL 100 pull all year. <laughs> and it's May. I'll take it, though. Okay. I will take that. Being a part of any Deion Sanders power up train, gotta be going for some. First NFL 100 pull all year, it is May. I have sad, sad pack luck. I really do. But this one wasn't too bad. Let's see. Okay. So yeah, I made my money back. I actually made money. Plus the Ray Lewis. All right, guys. First successful pack opening in Madden 20. We're gonna end it there. Let's head over check out all the power ups. All right. So first card over here, as you guys can see, is Michael Bennett, 90 overall left end. I believe he's currently on the Patriots, it says on this card. But guys, Michael Bennett can be on many theme teams. He's been on the Eagles, he's been on the Seahawks, he's been on the Patriots, and I'm probably missing a team or so there. Now, let's see his stats. 78 speed isn't great, but he's a power rusher. It's kind of expected. 89 XO, 96 strength, 98 tackle, 96 play rec, 95 block shed, 98 power move, and 90, 82 finesse move. Finesse move sucks, but that's okay because as long as you have a power move, it kind of offsets it. So he has a maxed out 99 power move when he's coming up. Block shedding, I think it's like a 97, 98. So as a run stopper and pass rusher, he's phenomenal. He's got good enough athleticism, great tackle, good play rec, and good strength. It reminds me similarly, simil I can never say this word, disregard that. It reminds me very much of like an Aaron Donald light, kinda. Very similar, not as, you know, not as much finesse, but he's got the power, the block shed, the mid-tier athleticism. In my opinion, I'd rather Aaron Donald, but for the price you're going to be able to do this card for, not a bad card. Honestly, one of the better cards they've released so far. Now, on to the next one. We got Desmond Trufant. Now, this card looks pretty great, too. Six feet tall, 98 overall for the Atlanta Falcons. 95 speed. So, it's Sprinter and John Madden. You're going to get this to a 98. Accelerator's going to get to like a 98. Agility's going to be a 99 already. So, so far, looking pretty solid. Jumping is good. 
Now at lockdown, John Madden passing and everything, he's gonna get to like a 97 or 98 play rec, which is great. Gonna get to a 99 man, gonna get to a 98 zone, and going to, to a 99 press. So gonna be one of the more lockdown corners. Reminds me a lot of kind of like a Byron Jones card, but probably a little bit more athletic with agility wise and stuff, but very similar to that Byron Jones. Now, for me personally, Michael Bennett and Desmond Trufant are now two of the better overall options out of everything we've gotten so far power-up expansion-wise. Both these cards are end-game usable type cards. Well, I'll be picking them up probably not because I already have guys powered up in their spots, but I really do think these cards are really, really good, and I would not shy away from buying them or using training for them if you really were so inclined to do so. Next card, we got Alshon Jeffrey. Now, this card actually looks pretty good on paper as long as you get the speed up. Six foot three, so he's going to be like a red zone type jump ball guy. 98 overall, 94 speed. That's not great, but with John Madden and Sprinter, you can get him up to a 97, which is decent enough for what you're going to be using him for. Going to get to 99 jumping, and then his catch and traffic and spec catch is a 99, which means he's going to be a catch monster. Plus, you can get deep pretty decent catching if you put like West Coast on him, which I'd probably recommend if you put West Coast, you'll get his catching up and his show route running and his medium route running. You can probably get his route running up to like high 90s and then his deep to like a mid 90. Which really isn't too bad. This car's gonna be kind of like, like I said, red zone type threat, a catch guy, a secure, like, like a possession catcher. You can be a possession catcher, run a solid route, people forget about him, and bam, he's open making a play for you. Overall, not my favorite one out of the bunch, you have to do a decent amount, and you can't make him like a number one guy, you gotta be like a number two or three. But, not a bad card overall, has potential if you use him right. Next on the list, we got Rodney Hudson, center for the Raiders. Now, this car's not bad, it's a lineman, guys. At the end of the day, a cheap 98 7 that's gonna be chemmed up on your team's 99 really is never a bad option. But 94 strength is kind of low, to be honest, for center. 94 awareness is good. 98 pass block, 99 pass block power, 94 pass block finesse. With John Madden, um, one of his chems, depending on which one you use, passing, plus zone run or power run, whichever one you end up using, probably get that up a little bit. Now, in my opinion, for his pass blocking it's pretty much maxed out at that point like he's gonna be a phenomenal pass blocker but i actually prefer to have run block out of my center spot so that's probably why i'd put his own run on him it'll get all of his running up to above a 90 and then mid 90s on the run block and run block power now the only issue here is that his run block isn't going to be maxed at all so i prefer run blocking so for me my, my ideal center has like mid tier low tier 90 overall pass blocking and then a high 90 run blocking so for me i probably wouldn't go this route but if you already have Rodney Hudson or you're on a Raiders theme team, that's the other beauty of like theme teams are getting some real good upgrades right now. They, these cards are already gonna be pretty much 99s, plus you get the theme team upgrades. I personally do like Rodney Hudson. When I use him, probably not, but guys, it's a great value, so don't ever discount it. Even if his pass block is not great, you're getting a great value at center. And the final card is Deuce McAllister, running back for the Saints. His last card was his theme diamond card. So it's been quite a while since he's gotten one. Now, six foot one on the Saints, 93 speed. Now the speed's very, very low. So the only way you're going to get this card is even decent. I recommend him as like a fullback, personally. Now, the way you could use this card is if you put Sprinter and you put John Madden on, get him to a 96 speed, put him at fullback, it'll be like Krishna Koye like 92 acceleration, 90 agility, 90 carrying, 98 carrying. So that's really good. 72 catching is low, 81 looseness is low. 98 trucking is great, and 96 break tackle is great. So honestly, guys, if you can get this card into fullback with a 96 speed, with maxed out carrying, with maxed out trucking, maxed out break tackle, could be a monster fullback for you. Would not recommend him as a running back. Now, if I had to rank him, I'm going to put probably Desmond Trufant first. Then I'm going to put Michael Bennett. Then Rodney Hudson. Then Alshon Jeffrey. Then probably, yeah, and then Deuce McAllister last. So, Desmond Trufant, Michael Bennett, Rodney Hudson, Alshon Jeffrey, and then Deuce McAllister. But guys, that's about it for the video. Let's head over to the Madden screen to close the video out. Right, so, we're back on the Madden screen, guys. Honestly, not a bad day for, for new content. Uh, as far as it goes, like I said, I probably won't pick up any of those guys, but if I had to pick them up, i give you guys my ratings to see what my thought process is on those overall. I think that there's potential for this promo, especially if they keep it going long enough this year, although we don't have much time left, so that's why I'm kind of more excited for the prospects of its future in Madden Ultimate Team. Wow, that's going to suck. 90 overall, Mac Wilson, that's not bad. So I'm still excited for the prospects, but there's a lot of potential with it, and that's kind of why I don't mind. You know, I kind of get excited for it because, again, if they use it properly, they could use it to bridge the gap next year with cards like that don't get cards for a while when you guys have, like, a powered... That's the worst thing last year. When you have, when, this year when you have things powered up and literally you don't want to get a card to replace it because you're waiting for his next power-up card, like how I had Lawrence Taylor 94 for months. Instead, what they do is they just release a Lawrence Taylor 94. or not, Like, let's say I have the 94. They release a Lawrence Taylor power-up expansion card that's a 96. Gives me a nice little two upgrade, plus my cams, gets them to 97, and it'll shut me up for a few months. 
perfect way to bridge the gap instead of having to drop banger cards every other month or weeks to benefit people i think that's just a great way to go about it but guys that's the video hope you guys enjoy if you're new to the channel make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn on the boys come join the family make sure this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below let me know what you think of these power expansion guys thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day this is my only video for today hopefully you guys enjoy it not too much content right now hopefully i do announce positional hero soon i'm predicting like this friday or next friday should be when they release it that's it i'm out peace